performing a three-way match in payables in Visual is very easy. The first thing we would do is go and set up how we want our vendor to be set up for a three-way match. We have options to choose whether we want no matching at all, meaning our purchase order does not need to match the invoice amount, or we can say it has to match exactly, or we can choose a range. So we could say it could be plus a certain percent or minus a certain percent. In our example, we're going to be using A1 sheet metal, which actually has a range of plus 10% and minus 20%. So if we go to our invoice entry, in our example, we'll assume we already have a purchase order that's out there and that purchase order has been received. So that's two parts of the three-way match. And now we're creating the voucher to create that third part. So our first thing we would do here is just identify who our vendor is that we're using. And then I'm just gonna hit F6 on my keyboard, which is just a shortcut to open up my search screen. But the search is going to be filtered by the vendor that I chose. So when I come in here and say, show me all my receiver IDs or purchase orders, it's going to be filtered by that particular vendor. I'm just gonna go and look for a receiver. I have one receiver out there for A1 sheet metal. And if I double click on it, you can see there's three line items that have been received for that purchase order. And if I just accept that, load it on my screen. I can now see that the amounts on the purchase order are defaulting in my voucher. It may not be what's on the invoice that the vendor is providing. So let's finish filling what the vendor gave us. And perhaps we'll just put any number in there for the invoice on the vendor's invoice to us. And we'll say that their total amount was $1,500. And notice that our total amount on our purchase orders came out to $1,418. So there is a bit of a mismatch there. I would go and tell it what payable account I want. And here I simply have one that I could either search for it or type it in. I'm just going to use my standard uh, account. And when I save this, it's letting me know that the total does not agree with the line item. Uh, the totals on my purchase order equal 1418. Now there could be two reasons for this. Either the line items themselves are different, in which case I would fill in what the line item is on the invoice. And if in the end it matches that three-way match that I set up at vendor maintenance, the over 10 and under 20%, then it would be fine. If it doesn't match, then it won't let me save it. Or the other thing might be the extra money is for a shipping charge. So it wasn't related to any individual line. It was just a freight charge, in which case I can add an additional line with that freight charge difference that would also keep things in line.